I cut out on a pole and what we call cut out on a pole when you climb a pole with spikes and then sometimes your spikes come out and you go. And I landed flat footed and broke both of my heel bones. David Overby was working for his local phone company 30 years ago when he suffered a bad fall. Probably about four, three or four weeks I was out of work, both my feet healing. And... Over the years, his feet problems got progressively worse. More issues followed with swelling, soreness, and gout. During the course of the day, walking, if I walked a lot, you know, that would really be excruciating. For so many years, I really couldn't walk down steps. And when I did, I would like hold on to the rail, you know, like an old man going down or up the stairs. And then when I tried to wear Western style boots or something like that, you know, then I would, you know, make the problem worse. Eventually, David cannot even wear shoes. Doctors could only prescribe painkillers. I never had anything that gave me very much to anything but just temporary relief, you know. I mean, it would just be like taking a pain pill or something like that would give me a little bit of relief or whatever, but I mean, who wants to take pain pills? David grew up believing in healing and often had people pray for his feet. Then, in July of 2020, he turned on the 700 Club. Terry had a word of knowledge, said there's somebody out there that's got feet problems. And there's someone else, you have a problem um, with your feet and at, you'd like, there is no shoe that is comfortable for you. You've had other issues with um, growth on your feet that's not, not normal. God's healing all of that for you right now. You're actually gonna see your foot return from being deformed to looking normal and you're gonna be able to wear the shoes of your choice. And what really brought it home was is that no shoes, no slip-on shoes. I, you can't wear slip-on shoes or anything like that because they hurt your feet. Well, that was me. I said, well, I accept that in the name of Jesus Christ. That's for me. And then God healed my feet. It was immediate. When I started moving around and everything, it was confirmed to me that God had healed me. So I can wear anything, you know, that I couldn't wear before. I don't have any pain with my feet. Uh, I can walk and walk and uh, don't have any problem. David says believers need to embrace that God's healing is for everyone. My perspective has greatly changed because I realize now that God loves us. No matter what, God loves us. But once you really grab a hold of that, that God loves you, and all those promises in the Bible are for you, no matter, they're for you. And God does heal and God does prosper, and God does save. God's pouring out His Spirit, and there's miracles all around us. God is doing a great and mighty thing with people that will accept Jesus as their Savior, be born again, and God blesses us more than we can imagine. Well, I couldn't say it any better than David did. I mean, God loves us, and all those promises in the Bible are for you and for me. You know, sometimes we read the Word, and we marvel at the Word, but we don't really receive the Word, and that's what David's talking about. It's, it's your own. It's, it's from God's lips to your heart, your mind, and it's real. It's legit. <laughs> I like to add, you know, uh, uh, who is the Word? And when you get that revelation that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word became flesh. These are the opening, the opening scripture to the Gospel of John. Who is the Word? The Word is not just letters on a page. Um, and pretty much regardless of what language you, you get that Word, the Word transcends all of them. The words are life. They are Him. Mm -hmm. That's why he stands over it to perform it, because it's him. He cannot lie. He does not change. The word is everlasting. It's in you. It's in your heart. It's in your mouth. All you have to do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. You shall be saved. And within that Greek word for saved, it includes healed, delivered, provided for, everything taken care of. It's incredible when you finally get it that all the promises of God are yes and amen. Who is that for? For all who are in Christ Jesus. 
all who are in the anointing of God, when you have these wonderful promises and you go, I read that in a book, but I want that to be in flesh in me. I want it to be living in me. Well, that's when miracles happen. You can, uh, the, to, here's another image for you. Treat these words as seed. You know, what happens when a tiny seed germinates? Well, big things happen out of it. You know, God likes to grow oak trees from tiny little acorns. So let that word become a seed in you and let it germinate. Let it hatch. Let it come into full being. All the promises of God for you are yes and amen. Let's pray. Let's believe the promise. Let's stand on the word. But more importantly, let's let that word have life and let it become flesh in you. Let's pray. Lord, we lift everyone who's watching right now. Anyone who has any pain, any infirmity, any disease, we declare over them your word that by your stripes we are healed. We declare your word that you have carried away our infirmities. You have removed all our diseases. You've taken upon yourself all our pain. And if you've taken it, we don't have to take it anymore. We leave it all with you. We leave it at the cross. We say, Jesus has healed me. He did it 2,000 years ago. We release it to him right now. All that pain leave my body. I believe in my heart and I confess with your, my mouth, Jesus is my savior. He is my healer. He is word become flesh in me. There's someone you're, you've got uh, debilitating arthritis in, in both your hands. It makes it very difficult to zip zippers and button buttons and write and do, do the normal things of life. God is healing your hands right now. Just stretch them out. Stretch out those fingers and realize you haven't been able to do that in a long time. They're all healed. All that pain, all that inflammation, all that swelling gone right now in Jesus' name. Terry? Yeah, there's a, a woman. You're in a, a situation where you, you have left a, an abusive relationship and you need a car. And you have no idea where you're going to get this. You have no means yourself. God has this handled. You begin to praise him for it right now before you ever see it. And the scripture for you is not by might nor power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Hang on to that promise and wait for God's delivery. Someone else, you've had a tube put into your right ear uh, for drainage. It affected your healing, hearing. You're healed now in Jesus' name. Hello, I'm Gordon Robertson. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more encouraging videos like this one. Welcome to the 700 Club Interactive Family, and God bless you.